Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 127th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. We are fastly approaching that 150 mark. Wow. I'm going to think of something special for 150. Something special that's not going to take me two years to do. But Alright, so we're going to do Future Reduce. This one is a little bit tricky. Um, I think we can get there though. I think we've learned enough that we can figure this out. So the first thing I'm going to do is not make the mistakes of the past, and I'm going to add in the concurrent library right away. And we're going to add in our... I have to go grab Christmas presents after this. It's Christmas Eve, and I've been kind of like on a tutorial marathon just because I'm really procrastinating wrapping presents. Um, I love buying them. I love giving other people things. I'm very charitable. At least I think I am. But uh, I really just dislike wrapping presents. There's just there should be a law that I'm not allowed to do it just because I'm horrible at it. All right, so we're gonna say filter reduce. Now, if you paid attention during our map reduce, you kind of have an understanding of what's gonna happen here. Maybe if I can get my mouse to agree with me. All right, so we need two functors, or two functions as they're called. One to actually filter, and one to do the reduction. Um, a filter will actually filter things out of our sequence or our list, and the reductor will actually collapse the list down into a single item. Whew, that's kind of confusing, isn't it? Well, let's dive right in. Static, bool, and we're going to call this do filter. And we're going to stay kind of with the same principles we've been doing, so we don't really have to get confused with names and things. Static, and we're going to say mm, void do reduce. And we're going to say qString result. And then we want the const string, whoops, qString item. There we go. Now the signatures for these are actually pretty simple. The filter, we're just giving it a, a Q string of a name and we're going to return a boolean. The reduce, we're not going to actually return anything, but we have a reference to this result, which is going to be the end product of all of our work. And then we have the individual item that's being reduced. Let's actually jump through here. Alright, so you've been following along, you know there's going to be pretty simple little code in here so we're gonna say if name to lower yep we're gonna pick on Bob again just cuz Bob just drives me nuts at work and return false otherwise whoops we gotta actually return something here there we go that would have been embarrassing again all right, now our reductor is we're going to actually just take the result and we're going to say plus equals, whoops, plus, e plus equals, I need a new keyboard. That might be a Christmas present to myself as a new keyboard. Hmm. Yeah, I think I need a new keyboard. Anywho, so we're just going to do that. So we're just going to basically concatenate that string. And we should, by all rights, do the result dot append, but just for the sake of argument, let's leave it like that. Q string list. People. Poople. People. Ooh. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to blame my keyboard for my horrible spelling. There we go. And we're going to say Heather. Bob, because Bob's got to be in there. Mark, and let's do someone new, Natalie. Whew. Okay. Same principle. We're going to click the button. You'll see the old and the new, just so you can see the difference here. We're going to actually jump back in here. And we are going to 
actually introduce the queue future class here today. And we're going to say queue string. That tells you right off the bat it's a template class. We're going to call it reduced equals. And we're going to say queue concurrent. And instead of the blocking, we're going to do the filtered reduced. This is going to take a little bit of explaining, but we can do it. You can see the definition of this thing goes right off the screen. So what we need to do here is we need to hand it the sequence, which in this case is people. We need to then hand it the um, filter functor, which is a function pointer to do filter. And then we need to give it the reductor functor. I like that word, functor. I want to go home and get functor tonight. That didn't sound good. Just Let's just pretend I never said that. All right, and then we're going to say do reduce. And there's other options that you can add in at the end, but we're just going to leave things as the default. Now, if we run this as is, what's going to happen? Well, bad things are going to happen. And I actually did that wrong, didn't I? Yes, I did. Hmm. Yeah, let's change this up a little bit. I don't want that. I'm just kind of kind of going to change things up here. I'm getting sick of that. Mm -hmm. Let's do the line edit. Let's do this. Move line edit. There you go. Because, I mean, the point of a reduction is to reduce it from a bunch of items down to one. So this will be a clear example. All right, let's actually get rid of that, let's say. All right, so if we run this as is, well, first off, it won't display anything, but we'll say QString. Whoops, not QString. Let's go UI, uh, line edit, set text. And we could say reduced result. If we run that, it's not going to work the way you think it's going to work. Because remember, we were doing blocking, and blocking will actually stop execution of the program. So as you've probably guessed, because you're pretty bright at this point, it's just going to jump immediately to this. So it may or may not actually work. On mine, it worked. But we're going to clear this example up a little bit better. UI, this widget, whoops. this widget add items say people and we're going to clear this up a little better and do it the proper way first thing we need to do is actually wait for that reduce uh, wait for finished and if you haven't guessed the uh, blocking filtered and blocking mapped actually just calls this under the hood so we're going to wait for it to finish and then we're going to actually just grab this guy and through the, what I like to call the magic of copy and paste. We're going to say QString result equals the reduced result. And then we're just going to result uh, chop. And if you don't know what chop does, it just removes X number of characters off the end of a string. All right, so we're doing that because every item is going to have that comma at the end. Let's run this bad boy. And ta-da, Bob is not in our list of people. So that's what filter reduce does. It filters it. We took Bob out of there. And it reduces it or collapses it down to a single item. Um, if you're kind of wondering um, some practical uses for that, um, cryptography, um, like creating a hash, something of that nature could actually be done. Um, building a comma delimited list of files or building like a number of files that are over or under a certain size, things like that. So that is the filter reduce. And we've also introduced the queue future, which we're going to be working with in future tutorials. That just bog that bugs me that I say future future tutorials. It just I don't know why. All right, be sure to visit my website, voidrooms.com, for source code for this and other tutorials. 
Also, be sure to visit my pet project, pluginbot.net. And we do have a Facebook group called Void Realms. There's like 130 some odd of you guys and girls out there. And we just kind of ask each other questions. We all kind of work as a team to help each other out. That's it. Thanks for watching.